Welcome everyone. My name is Marie Freeman. I'm one of the preschool teachers at St. Andrew's Christian Academy. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, and our reading of scripture today is Romans 6, 9 through 14. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. For in the same way, count yourself dead to sin, but to alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its evil desires. Do not offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and offer the parts of your body to him as instruments of righteousness. For sin shall not be your master because you are not under law, but under grace. Devotion reading already died. The widow's son, Jairus, daughter, Lazarus, and Tabitha. Several people on Good Friday, Matthew 27, 52, the pe these people died and God raised them back to life, but they eventually died again, deserving it. In the just laws of creation, death was overthrown. For when, for one to die without sin, suddenly all the wages of sin were paid and death could no longer collect the debt owed. When Jesus, life incarnated, died, he rose for the last time, because he died for the last time. Praise we in songs of victory, that love, that life which cannot die. And if you think that's amazing, here's something else. You've already died too. That's right. Read Romans 6 again. In baptism, we died with Christ. Our sinful selves are dead and buried. An eternal life has already begun. Yes, our bodies may still die if Jesus doesn't return first, but that's why Christians often say that believers are asleep. Our spirits rest in the Lord, our bodies rest in the ground until the last day, when in Christ we will rise. Let's pray. Lord of life, you are the resurrection of the life, and you overcome death for all of us. Help us not to fear and instead trust in you. Amen.